So here we have a diagram showing the positions of various towns, Dunbridge, Ellsford and Fairtown, DEF. We're given information, a couple of bearings and the distance there, 15 kilometres. And we're asked to calculate the distance between Dunbridge and Fairtown. That's the side DF of this triangle. So the convention is that in a triangle DEF, the side opposite angle E would be named little e. The side opposite angle F would be named little f. And the side opposite angle D would be named little d. So let's try and work out some of the angles in this uh, triangle. We're told that Dunbridge is west of Earlsford. So this angle here must be right angled as is this angle. This bearing of 126 degrees, if we subtract 90, will get 36 degrees. So there's one of the angles of triangle DEF. And likewise, in this setup around this point he, E here, we've got a 230 degree angle another 90 degree angle, that's 320 degrees, and we take that from 360 to get 40 degrees for that. Now you double check that 230 plus 40 is 270 plus another 90 is 360. So <clears throat> that's the first little calculation. The angle EDF is equal to 36 degrees, an angle DEF is equal to 40 degrees. Now, that would imply that the th we might as well work out the third angle. We may need that. 40 plus 36, 76. So angle DFE, that's the third angle, will be 180. The angle sum is 180 minus the sum 36 plus 40 which we said was 76. So 76 degrees away from 180. So that's 104 degrees for this third angle. So we've now got the size of the three angles in triangle DEF. This is going to be a sine rule. In your formula sheet, here's a sine rule. It works for triangle ABC. And you'll notice the pattern in this A over sine A, that's this side over the sine of the angle opposite, equals little b, that's this side, divided by the sine of the angle opposite, little c divided by the sine of the angle opposite it. So in this triangle DEF, let's use the sine rule, but we'll write it down as D over sine D equals E over sine E equals F over sine F. And let's see what we know. We don't know D, but we do know little f. We know all three angles, and we are trying to find the distance df, that's little side e. So we're trying to find this side. Let's use this part of it. We don't know anything about side d, we're not interested in side d, so we won't use that. So e over sine e will be equal to f over sine f. Little e is what we're trying to find. Angle e is 40. Little f is 15. Sine f, angle f, is 104. So that's sine 104 degrees. So to get e on its own, we have to undo a divide by sine 40. 
So let's multiply both sides of this equation by sine of 40. So if I multiply the left hand side by sine 40, that divide by sine 40 disappears. And if I multiply a fraction, this fraction by sine 40, the sine 40 will appear on the top of the fraction. So there's the calculation that I'm going to have to do to find the required side of that triangle. Now make sure your calculator is in degree mode. It should have a deg or a d visible. So we have 15 times sine of 40. divided by sine of 104. That comes to 9.936, and so it goes on. Calculate the distance between Dunbridge and Fairtown. Doesn't give any indication of accuracy. Let's use three figures. So that would be 9.94, chopping a 6 off, it would be rounding up. So that's approximately 9.94. Measurements are in kilometres. And that would be to three significant figures. Any correct rounding would give you the marks. Check that that which is nearly 10 kilometres, makes sense on this diagram. Does this side look like 10 kilometres when this side looks like 15? It's not unreasonable. 9.94 kilometres.